is your girl Hillary outside with nature trying to change the oil to this Nissan Versa that I have. Man, I don't know, man. This is like the most ghetto way I've ever done this. <laughs> Yo, but for the first timers, like I'm being honest, all you really need is the oil. Now, the oil, you could go to Auto Parts or AutoZone if you don't know what type of oil to get. And they'll let you know just by your the model of your vehicle and your and the um, I think the year. And then here, or in your manual, if you have the manual in your in your car, you could definitely find out there as well. And then I have tools here. The only tool I really need is just a wrench, um, just to um, drain the oil underneath the car. And then you would just need to purchase a, a new filter oil and gloves if you don't want to dirty up your hands. So yeah. All right. So we're gonna go under the vehicle, right? And under the vehicle, there's this little top right here. That's the one you're gonna drench out. I already did it. Um, you just need like a bucket or something to um, let the oil spill for like five minutes and then you can put it back on. And then here is the oil filter. You just need to remove that and replace the new one that you have. And basically that's it. I still need to do that. Um, but I'm having a hard time taking this off. I should have done that first. So I recommend you guys to do, take this out first. <laughs> Don't be like me. <laughs> so now I need to go get another tool and see, or, or a guy maybe, or some, or I don't know. I need help taking this out. And then, then here on the top, here's where you're gonna put the uh, the new oil. Okay. Now for it, you don't have to spill the oil all over the place and make a mess. I'd recommend you like a cylinder or something like that, but. Since this is the getaway, and we're trying to save our money over here, make sure it's not hot. Um, I cut up <laughs> plastic, and uh, we're just gonna drench some oil in here. And then it needs to reach to the top where it says H. It's supposed to be high. There's a part here that says H. I don't know. You guys can't see it. All right, sorry guys. Did you see this H? There's an H. That means it's perfect. So, um, you could keep putting oil until it reaches to that. That's how I do it. Uh, maybe there's another way, uh, but that's how I know that my engine is good. So we are done! So once you come in your vehicle, just turn it on. And then um, just make sure you write um, your mileage. And I think it's every 5,000 miles, so you have to change your oil. So, or 3,000, but I usually do 5,000 because it doesn't really get dirty until it's 5,000. So once you re reach to 5,000, um, you could change your new oil. Yeah, I already know how to do that. So, um, hopefully this video worked for you guys. I might do a new one. I might have more knowledge of this, but I like cars. So, and I like the fact that I'm doing my own car, so hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you write down how much mileage you have um, for, you can, for you can know an estimate of how much, when you need to change your oil, all right? Say bye, King. King, say bye.